Talks between the national government and county governments on county revenue allocation hit a dead end after intense hours of negotiation. Treasury is adamant that it can only get 380 billion shillings, not the 425 billion demanded by governors. The national government will, however, redirect part of the resources allocated to ministries where functions are devolved to counties. President William Ruto is expected to hold talks with the county governors to break the impasse. The second day of the ninth national and county government's coordinating summit was intense as county governors stuck to their guns and the money allocated to counties was still insufficient. The talks that lasted for the entire day failed to break the deadlock. While the governors want the national government to allocate 425 billion shillings to counties, Treasury says it can only manage 380 billion shillings, 45 billion shillings short. We must, all of us, work together towards raising revenues in our country. Raising revenue using the uh, national government structures, raising revenue using the county structures. President William Ruto is expected to hold yet another meeting with governors and other stakeholders to try and break the impasse in the coming week. But I want you to ask yourself as governor, what are you doing as I work hard to push KRA to collect every collectible cent. What is the county governor of Kiambu doing? But the summit scored some major wins for counties, with the devolved units expected to get 4.7 billion shillings as conditional grants. That counties shall be allocated an additional 100 million shillings each as conditional grants in the 2023-2024 financial year to operationalize the national government's program on aggregated industrial parks in counties. The total allocation shall be 4.7 billion to all 47 county governments. The national government has also agreed to redirect part of resources allocated to ministries where functions are devolved to counties. The national executive shall relook into the national government's proposed 2023-2024 budget and programs within the next one week with a view to identifying areas of duplication to allow transfer of those attendant resources to counties. In a follow-up to the concessions made yesterday on the withdrawal of all cases filed by either of the two levels of government against each other, all legislation deemed to be offending devolution will be revisited. That the IGRTC and COG respective and respective stakeholders shall prepare an inventory of all legislation impeding on the effective implementation of devolution and submit to both houses of parliament for review and amendments. Similarly, all proposed legislations currently in parliament that are deemed to claw back on devolution shall be withdrawn and a consultative process to be instituted before they are reintroduced to either house of parliament. The Attorney General shall introduce an omnibus bill to Parliament amending all legislation that impede on devolution. The county policing authority is chaired by governors, which will effectively give the county chiefs a say in the management of security in their counties, will also be operationalized in six months. All eyes will be on President William Ruto in the coming week as he tries to break the impasse on the county revenue allocation. While counties want 425 billion shillings, the national government insists it can only get 385 billion shillings. John Jacob Curia, The Legends Edition.